work in general just is very, uh, it's created very intuitively. Once I get going with a style of work, figure out a new thing that I'm doing, then it'll carry on for five, six, seven, eight pieces. And then I'll kind of get bored of that. And then I'll just transition into a new set of pieces. And then it'll go into that. But uh, I've been told uh, people can recognize my pieces just because of the brushwork on it or the lack of brushwork because I do a lot of dry brushing. Uh, and so they come in and they know it's mine just based on, I guess, the effect or the look of the blending or rendering of the piece. Well, I'm certainly inspired by the ocean. Um, all of the pieces that I've been doing within the last year are ocean inspired. So this is a crashing wave. Um, it's called energy because of the energy that comes from the ocean uh, through the movement of water. And so that's what inspired this piece. It, I feel like it's a huge honor to be part of this group, especially because I feel like there's some amazing artists. Um, it gives us a chance to all be really truly who we are without having to fit into a mold or a, a theme, right? So, um, so I enjoy that part of it. But being part of a theme too, it's fun to go to a show where everything kind of looks similar and looks the same. So it just depends, but this, this is probably the truest I've felt to being part of a show just because I can create what I want and not have to fit into a mold. So. This year we don't have a theme, everybody's on their own, but as you can see there's a million good pieces in here. Yeah. So I have a, in 2007 I started a series called the Meditation Series and it's really hatching. And once I start it I can't stop, so however long it takes me to start it is how long it takes me to start it and finish it. Um, I believe this one was about, I number them, um, 45,000 seconds is how long this whole entire piece took me. It was about 12 and a half hours that it took me to finish it from start to finish. Uh, well, this, what we're standing in front of is the original uh, Ideal Woman uh, installation, franchise Ideal Woman. And we debuted this a couple years ago at the B-Side show two years ago. And um, it's a, a collaboration between me and my girlfriend, Tasha Copley, who is a photographer and uh, it kind of stemmed from an idea I had of a woman naked uh, covered in surgical markings and we uh, created something that on one side has her in a very confident uh, pose lit very classically almost like a Greek goddess um, and then on the other side is a very harsh lighting and she's kind of unconfidently stanced and uh, covered in surgical markings and then in the, in the middle is a mirror with a sign over it that says what do you see when you look in the mirror and then uh, the last element of it is an interactive, uh, kind of like a ballot box where people can write uh, and ask them, uh, name something that you find beautiful about yourself so they can write something about themselves and put it down in the box. We started nine years ago. Um, me and Trey actually went to Swanberger's shop, which is called the Culture Mart at the time. We went to the shop and we, uh, we asked him, can we do an art show there? And uh, from there, it, he introduced us to Jermaine and Speck and Veer came around. And it was like all these artists. Like it was my first time doing an art show. It was Trey's first time doing an art show. And then uh, it just like kind of turned into like this like group. And then uh, we went, we did a show at this at this guy's house named RV. And uh, it was like a basically a art party and stuff. And we were sitting there. There was actually the fun thing is how it always comes out is uh, turns out is I was actually sitting in my car eating Subway and they were at Ethos and they were like, hey, wanna start this group called B-Side? And Swanberger was, and then that's, that was just basically it. That just started everything. Uh, we're here tonight to do a, a group show, an art group show um, with my buddy Woes and my boy Boy Kong. And um, it's kind of an experimental pop-up show. We have like a, a loose collective called No Talent Losers, which is like a sarcastic view because everybody in the team is extremely muscular in their own talent and trait. We just took a step back and was like, dude, everyone in our crew is gnarly as hell, so it's a crew now, you know what I mean? So artists that are like kind of local, close, you know, and they're like, yeah, let's do it. So it, it all came together and I'm really happy with the outcome. We're just like hanging out together and painting. Um, it was fun for them to get from every different parts of the United States and then coming here and then we're just sharing the same passion together and then giving some people to look at, you know, so it's cool. Well, we're standing here at the Young Artist Group Gallery uh, and the City Arts Factory and the Young Artist Group is a collaboration between Artigan Marketplace and the Downtown Arts District. What we have here is a show called Word and Image 
So all of the pieces in the gallery right now have a combination of words and images used to create some sort of statement or conceptual um, concept or idea. This is a collaborative piece, it's called Love Collaborative, and basically it is simply a mandala that people can come and contribute to. The idea is to, in any way you want, uh, write, draw, even type, or otherwise express what your idea of love is. And we're doing this as a, a show of support for the victims and survivors, family and friends of the terror attack.